Well, the reason I became a lecturer was because I became really inspired by the subject by a few individuals in old university. I could see how important the job was. I never realised just what, a, what an important job it was to live this life in the mind. I really enjoyed the process of learning and uh, I thought it would be very nice to share that process of learning and to be able to give back something to the community. I just so enjoyed working with the students. I thought, you know, this is really for me. It was something which started when I was at secondary school and um, that I just wanted to be a teacher. I enjoy the interaction with students, uh, particularly when you make a difference to someone and the student actually understands what you're trying to teach them. They've never known why something works and then you're able to give them that answer or give them the information for them to be able to work it out for themselves and it's, it's those pennies dropping that you see around the class which I think is one of the best things about teaching. I like the fact that every year all these new and interesting people come into this environment and we read books and we think about them and we talk about them. Sometimes really quite a highly charged atmosphere and it's exciting, it really is exciting. And it's nice to see students who initially are struggling at the start of the course but once you start engaging with them um, lecturing them to what they want, it makes a huge difference to them. What I do is get out among the students. You can even put me in a lecture theatre and I'm still just as animated. I'll walk up and down the aisles. The thing that makes a good tea is, is to engage everybody. Get everybody listening. Make sure that they are excited about what you're saying. There is some element of entertaining when you are educating because you have to hold the attention of people. There are so many distractions now, mobiles, you know, Facebook, etc. So how to make that all these technologies also work for us? When I first arrived here three or four years ago, you'd spend all your time expected to tell students to put their mobile phones away. And in my class, you know, they come in, I say, come on, let's get your mobile phones or your devices out and we're going to learn together. You know, students can come to us at any time, really. You know, they can make an email appointment, we spend as much time with them as they need in whatever particular issue or problem they have. We get support on the virtual learning environment, but more than anything is the face-to-face. -face. They know the name, uh, they know who to come and ask, and being able to come and ask whenever they are free and we are free to get them the help they need. They can send us work, they can do extra essays which we will mark. There's a lot that goes on behind the timetable. If I make something fun and they link it with something that they've learned, then they will remember it. And I think that is precious. If they can come away from my sessions and remember the little quip or the little laugh that they had, but in doing so, oh I remember I learned that and then apply that to whatever they're doing then I've done my job well. I try that my students are pushing the boundaries, bringing new ideas, bringing daring ideas. It's all about the literature, it's all about the texts and the ideas. That's what it's about. That's what we'll be with them for the rest of their lives.